Welcome to Secrets to the Tarot Temple. Here is Guru Fives. This forecast is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and on the Cuffs. Please be mindful to bring paper and pencil, as well as supporting the temple with your likes, shares, comments, and your subscription. Now prepare for your messages from Source for the Working Money Week of September 27th until October 3rd. Please stay away. All right, welcome Sun Bowls to the temple. Um, I want to thank all of the new subscribers. I think I got a new subscriber last night. I want to thank you for making this your spiritual home of elevation, knowledge, you know, personal enlightenment, whatever it is that you feel you need. Um, I hope you all had a chance to watch the premieres as the premieres at this point is your guiding light. Um, it will contain most of the um, highlights for your weekly work, money, and romantic guidance. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and dive on in so we can try to get as much as we can out of the time that we have. And I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I lost my mom Friday night. It all came as a shock. So I probably really won't see myself for the next, I don't know. But I know the work got to go on. Okay, so bear with me. And we're going to get through this, okay? All right, so you have object ahead or object, object or object ahead. So Capricorn is your, um, it's the guidance, the guidance, the messenger for earth elements, okay? At least in my mind. But of course, either of those videos can pertain to you. This is your opportunity to kind of mesh and, um, transpose messages for yourself we know we can't do it all these are general so um that's why i kind of give it to you the way i do you know in more like a in a teaching method all right because they're general you have to find yourself in these messages just like i do okay <clears throat> so yes i do go back and listen to certain ones for myself not all of them like i missed one for one of my commenters justin um, I had to go back and view his uh, actual element to understand what he was talking about. Okay, so um, we're going to get started and just know that at the end of your messages, I will give you a shape card to kind of give you an idea of how your week will be shaped or either how we end up. Okay, so overall, let me make sure my deck is, we have the three of pentacles reverse. And that's based on the Ten of Cups. You can expect the Magician. If you can see that. There we go. Move that on over there. Okay, and that's stemming from the Four of Cups. With an outcome of the Big Pentacle, the Ace. Conflict and a challenge and supportive energies we will discuss momentarily. The underlying energy is travels. This could be local. This could be long distance. This can be overseas. Okay, these are traveling planes. Okay, and it seems like it's based on this Ten of Cups. This is the happy community. These travel plans could be dealing with communities online, family, um, subdivisions, you know, like HOA subdivisions, I think is what they're called. It's all based on this. For some of you, I'm hearing marriage as well. Congratulations. I don't know if this is a new marriage or... A ma it sounds like it may be a new marriage. I don't know. A marriage, okay? Oh, this marriage could be a commitment like... The Tarot Temple is a marriage. It's a commitment. And I know now that I have followers, that means that they depend on me. So even through the tough times, like right now... Um, it, it takes a lot of energy out of you when you have a great loss like your mom, you know. So, source, 
sort of coaches us to keep going because it's, you know, it's good for us, for our spirit. Okay, so your week is stemming from the Four of Cups. I see that you have some issues you need to resolve this week or for some of you, you just need some space based on this community, based on this family, based on your marriage or a marriage. Um, if it's a new marriage, maybe you're trying to iron some things out before you consolidate it or bring it together or make it one. I don't know. Um, I don't know if these people are together or not, but let's get a card and find out the reason for the Four of Cups based on the Ten of Cups. Now, there's definitely abundance here. Um, a lot of love. Loving emotions, provision. I'm also hearing sleep. Sleep. Something about sleep in the Ten of Cups. Sleep in the family. So, um, put that deposit that in the back of your mind. It, it, I'm telling you, when I tell you all to deposit those messages, they come out somewhere. They come out somewhere, okay? If, if it applies to you, it, it comes out, okay? Okay. What's the reason, source? The seven of wands. And some of you, this is just your work. I don't know if you work for yourself, work for someone else. This is a lot to tackle. For some of you, this could be a lot of fighting. A lot of things coming at you. A lot of energy coming at you, which is probably negative or hostile or aggressive, I would say. It's a lot coming up at you, or it's a lot that you have to be this way to get it done. You know what I'm saying? Um, not unless this is a person. If this is a person who has that kind of capability, almost like a superhuman person who can multitask and tackle a lot of things at once, it's also a person who has the capability or the will to stand alone. You know, they're not that easily scared off, not even by the crowd. You know, so this could be a person. Or um, the place in which, or the thing that you do. Hmm. Now, I don't know why these long socks mean something. Um, I know I love them, but they're standing out for some reason. These long socks. So I don't know if people play soccer. You know, if they like to play soccer, if they play soccer. Your overall energy is the a three of pentacles reverse. Now, this is a stealthy meeting. This is one where people talk in private, you know, um, in the basement, undercover kind of stuff. Now, this could have been on your job. They had a private conversation with you. Or you had a third party private conversation so well, maybe in the home with a family um, person or someone you connect with in business because this still deals with some kind of finances, some type of finances exchanged here, even if it's just going to the grocery store. But we're talking about it in secret based on or in privacy. You know how people say we need some privacy, you know, privacy or in secret based on this Ten of Cups. This, for some of you, this is a blessing. Okay? And I'm hearing financial blessing. For some of you, this is coming out of this Ten of Cups as a financial blessing. Yep. Okay, because this is about finalizing something. Okay, so uh, this conversation could have taken place over the phone or in person. It doesn't matter. This is about finalizing something, but it's private. It's, it's Maybe you don't want other people in the family to know. You see what I'm saying? But it's definitely stemming from a separation, some of you. This could have been a job loss. Or your separation from your family. Okay. You can expect. Um, 
to see how it works, to see how you can work with it this week. You have the tools that you need, okay? You have everything that you need. It's just a matter of you focusing on how to wield, how to wield your, what you know, how to wield your power, you know. Um, I don't know if this is physical power, mental power. And I'm thinking it's mental power. Stupid from this separation. And I feel like some of you have seen the cup, the bigger picture here. The bigger picture. God has gotten you to see the bigger picture here. And you have put it on this table to work with. And you're going to be working with the bigger picture based on this ten of cups. This family, this blessing. Something came out of the family. That's what it keeps saying. Something came out of the family. Something came out of the group. It doesn't have to be... Or some type of community. So expect to have something to work with. Stemming from resolving these problems. Or stemming from. I don't know. You may have been separated from family members or friends. Been apart for a while. Because this is. Maybe you needed a break. Or a job loss. So some of you may, oh yeah, so some of you definitely need to watch Capricorn because I think that one was called behind the job loss. Okay, so that would apply to some of you, not all of you. Um, but you can also expect to be going back and forth in your head, of course, about how you want to work this or fix this, whatever it is that's coming out of this community, coming out of love, coming out of this family that you are uh, finalizing in secret. All right. And look at this, finalization. This is either a submission for uh, the receipt of whatever, or this is the outcome of this private meeting. Okay, because it is blessings here. You see? It is blessings here. All right. Um, to some of you, this may be a plan after you finish working it out. And seeing how you want to go with it, going back and forth out of your mind, resolving then you know how you want to present something to a family or a community online, in person. It doesn't matter. Okay? Maybe this is you want to present something to your spouse. Remember, I said some of you it has to do with a marriage. This may even be a marriage proposal. I don't know. I'm here for some of you. This is the seed as well. This is the seed. Okay, I don't know. Is the seed given? I don't know if this is what comes out of the seed. Right? Like you planted it now. It's, it's grown the outcome, you know. Or it's the seed. This is to be planted. The seed to be planted. For some of you, this is going to be a seed, like a like a child. Okay, yeah, and 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 I see you very grateful and feeling blessed by it. Okay, that's beautiful. What's the conflict though? This is the this is the graduate. Okay, this is uh, this is looking at the big picture, seeing the big picture. For some of you, this is time alone, spending time alone to um, concentrate on what it is that you want to present to the world. It's a conflict. Again, remember I said a lot of stuff was coming at somebody, a lot to do. You know, so for some people it's just a lot coming at you. It's conflict. So being alone and able to concentrate on your plans and what you're trying to present to the world. conflict with that. For some of you, it's the family. Something to do with family. Maybe you live with this family. You know what I'm saying? It's, um, I'm hearing like some of you are the poster child of the family. That's, never heard of that before. The poster child is a conflict. I know for some of you, this poster child is really still growing up. You know, they, they still drinking milk. 
okay? They still got a lot of maturing to do. There's a conflict based on this community, based on this family, based on these blessings, based on this marriage. I'm definitely seeing a lot of things about families deep. It's like the nailing on the wall, like a message she's showing me. It's definitely deeply rooted in family this week. Whatever's going on. The conflict for some of you is sticking with family. I don't know if you just want to be by yourself. There's something about a message with the family or this. There's something going on, but they definitely something that they want to present, some of you. To either your community, your family, or to this marriage. But being alone to focus is definitely a con conflict this week. You know, because maybe you're around this family. You know, maybe it's too much going on. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're being bothered and disturbed with a lot of stuff in this community or in this family. Nu nuisance is what I'm hearing. Nuisance. But what's going to help you is the nine of wands. Okay. I don't know, maybe this is somebody going to start kicking somebody ass on your behalf for bothering you. I don't know. <laughs> um, somebody behind the scenes, but this could be you going behind the scenes, doing what you got to do, or just being very watchful will help you. Some of you, you know, just taking some precautions. Um... You know, just taking precautions, watching where you're going. Um, I feel like for some of you, it's a blessing in you being watchful in your neighborhood. I don't know why. Because it looks like he's trying to catch somebody, don't it? It looks like you may, some of you may get your blessing. I just heard um, LL Cool J, the cars go by. <laughs> yeah. Object or object ahead. Okay. So some of you is going behind the scenes in your work. Because, you know, people, when we say going behind the scenes, you know, people oftentimes, they think, like, when you have success, it just came overnight. But they don't see all the shit that you did beforehand. You know, all the years, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm sure a lot of people thought I just hopped on here. I've been on YouTube strong for three years, and I only have, what, 82 subscribers? But there has been no advertising for Spirit Vibes. It's all been groundwork, nothing special. And then the timing of coming in, when you already have a lot of these, what I call the celebrity readers, um, who came in early, they generally get the bulk of the goods, you know what I'm saying? That's why if you have an idea, it's good to go ahead and strike out on it when you can, if you can, but be careful, because you can get robbed. I know from experience. You know, but um, I see you having a really good week with a really good outcome. I see seeds being planted. I see um, growth and, and rich returns. I'm feeling that. And it's all stemming from you being... Really, for some of you, it's because you're consistent. You're consistent. Okay. So let's get to your oracle message. Please remember to support the temple by giving thumbs. It doesn't matter to me which. Just please, can you at least do that this week? Thank you. Uh, oh, we never got these. So happy to get something different. Okay, so when you're low, you're more open. But when you're up, you're more closed. Now, I don't know if that's your voice.
where you're going is pure. But there's something mystic or mysterious about elevating. It makes sense to me, but it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, and I'll show that to you one more time. It's pure, it's pure where you're going. It's pure, pure love, pure joy, 10, more open. But the elevation of this, the outcome probably, because this is elevation as well. This is getting to the elevation, right? This is the graduation. This is the practice before the graduation. But there's something going to be mysterious about your elevation. And, and probably because you're not going to be really speaking about it. Let's see what the reflective is. So I can get up off of here. Spend too much time out. All right. It's kind of flat right now. Oh, night of that's, that's the heraldor, okay? That's the news. Um, that's the that's the one who um this is the advertisement. Let everybody know what's going on in business or where they can get this your business card even okay but this is definitely some news coming in for some of you this is coming in you know where to go but it's going to be something mysterious i don't know if you're flying or you're elevating in this secret mystery thing that's going on so let's see what shape you're going to be in this week. And then we'll close out the temple. All right, source, we're ready for our symbols for this week's work, money, and romance. What shape will they be in if this applies to them for this week? September 27th to October 3rd. All righty. We have the purple moon. So we see perception. We also know purple is royalty. We have the purple elephant here. We know elephants deal with um, good fortune and love. And let's see. I'll get you a few notes here. It also deals with creativity, wisdom, wealth, and grandeur. And let me see if there's any other notes I have for the elephant. It's definitely good luck. And it represents um, family as well. And um, Africa. A matriarch. Also have cargo. The beginning of time warning or alert okay that's your shape that you'll be in this week family good fortune matriarch for some of you Africa and on that note I'll leave it here thank you so much some those for tuning in Hopefully I'll see you next week. Remember to walk by faith and by sight. Peace and love.